Hi, I'm Daria Allen, here with Mrs. Daniels, and we're here to discuss the Winter Choral Concert. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. So what day and what time is the concert? The Winter Choral Concert is Wednesday, December 11th, and it's at 7 p.m. Is, is there a fee or is it free to go? Nope, it is free and open to the public. Bring your neighbors, bring your friends, bring your family. The more, the merrier. That's good. And is there any food? Of course there's food. So our Music Boosters does a bake sale every concert. Um, there will be food before and after the concert as well. Uh, we have stuff like muffins and cupcakes and cake in general and cookies, all kinds of good stuff. Do you sell the baked goods for a fundraiser or any other reason? So we fundraise in general for the music department um, so that we can get technology. Last year we bought TVs for a couple of the classrooms, so we need one more TV to fill out the rest of the department. Um, and some of our students are going on a trip to uh, Broadway this year. Um, in the spring, and so we need to fundraise to help defray the cost of that trip for them so they don't have to pay in an arm and a leg. I understand. So what pieces will your class be performing? So we have five pieces for concert choir. Um, they're all in different languages. One is in English, uh, one is in Hebrew, one's in Spanish, one is in Venda, and one is in Latin. Why those pieces and why so diverse? So I pick the pieces that I do to try and bring out the holiday spirit. Um, so not necessarily one particular religion, but just the idea of us, everybody getting along and there being unity and peace and everybody just working together. That's a pretty good idea. So for the audience members who don't understand the languages, do you think they'll just like still bop their heads or do you think they'll just stare at them all crazy? Well, I think that the music that we're doing is really good. Um, so just music in general, I think that it's really fun and I think everybody's going to like that. Um, I do put the translations in the program so that people know what we're singing if they want to read it. Um, but I think just in general, the experience of listening to this choir is going to be a very immersive experience for everybody. So out of all the five pieces, what's your favorite piece? Um, so I actually like the one piece that we're doing for Select Choir. It's called Glow. Um, it's written by my favorite composer, Eric Whitaker. Um, his harmonies just sort of sparkle. Um, and it really just, it feels like a snowy, wintry kind of song. And I just, I really like it a lot. That's good. Glow seems like a really interesting song, just by the title. But um, so how are you preparing for the concert? So I have four choir classes. Two, uh, three of them are concert choir. One is select choir. Um, I meet with them every day. We've actually been practicing this music since September, so we could get ready for this concert in December. Um, once a week, I bring all four of my classes together in the audience so we can sing together as an ensemble. Um, and they're getting better and better every week. That's good. And what do you think will be the overall outcome of this? Do you think your students will be prepared? I hope they're prepared. Um, so uh, we've had some we've had some pitfalls. We've had some setbacks and some failures. Um, and I think that overall, what I hope the kids get out of this is that it's okay to fail. Um, it's okay to not do well at things, but you have to be able to go. Here's what I didn't do well, and fix it. So that way, the next time when you come together, it can be that much better. Yeah, it's definitely always good to learn from your experiences. Okay, you well, Mrs. Dandolph, thank you for your time. NESD TV will be recording this, so if you can't make it to the concert, you can always check it out on YouTube. I'm Daria Allen here with Mrs. Dandolph, and thank you for your thank you for watching.